June 2011 new shed at Kiki Nagla 2 new calves care for cows in Vrindavan Radongas tainted with blood rescue at Raymond Puri care for cows in Vrindavana CFC trustees Kerma Rupa Dasa Han Sarupa Dasa Vra Mohan Dasa Rival Abha Dasa Radha Gobinda Dasa Amit Dulani Patrons Mahanadi Swami Maharaja CFC staff Kasina Sudana Dasa Bra Gopal Dasa Swiss Puri Maharaja Radhapati Dasa Siamhari, Vaj, Ravi, Sukumar, Santosh, Teprakash, Ajit Editor Kermo Rupa Dasa Cover Photo by Heidi Chan and Care for Cows in Vrindavana is inspired by His Divine Grace C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhu Pada Founder Akriya International Society for Krishna Consciousness Dear Friends, that familiar apprehension has again returned, the one associated with having to leave Sri Vrindavan. Will I be able to return? is the nagging question that's plagued me for 27 years. I'm off to travel for 30 days to see old friends in New York, in Denver, and perhaps Florida. It's hard to break the comfort of the routine, the known, and face the unknown, the unexpected. I know I can do it as I have done it many times before. It's not hard, once the apprehension dissipates. Who will feed my abandoned friends? Will the heat scork them? Will the monsoon soak them? Leave it to the unfailing best protector of the cows. Jaya Shri Guru, Jaya Shri Gopala, Jaya Shri Gomada, Care for Cows or Care for Cows in Vrindavan is a charitable trust registered in India, USA, and Switzerland. The CFC staff letter to the editor Dear Care for Cows, Hare Krishna. Hope you are well. Thank you for giving such beautiful protection to the cows and by serving Lord Krishna in such a beautiful way. I was reading in Krishna book that Lord Krishna has a mala and counts the cows when they return from grazing by saying each cow's name on one bead. A year ago I had spoken to you about sponsoring Gyatri and Tirtha. I hope they are both healthy and happy. I am in prison, hopefully for a short period, awaiting trial. I do not have access to 50 each month at this point to send for their sponsorship and it breaks my heart. I love sponsoring them. I will definitely send money when I can. Please tell Gyatri and Tirtha I said hello and Hare Krishna. Please say hi to the Lord's Krishna and Balaram for me. Would it be possible to mail me a brochure describing what activities I can donate to Lord for cow protection? May Srimati Radharani, Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram always live with all joy within your hearts. Hare Krishna. In devotional service to Lord Krishna's holy feet marked with a goad, flag, umbrella, lotus, etc. All glories to Shri Krishna. Jivakan Snyder Jivakan Snyder Gyatri Tirtha P.S. Enclosed is a check for 18.00. Could you please use it for a special feast for as many cows as is possible on May 24, 2011. Thank you, Jivakan. Note. We purchased 200 kilos of watermelon and fed it to our herd of 160 at Kiki Nagla as requested by Jivakan. We pray the abandoned cows of Sri Vrindavan bestow their blessings upon him. Murdangas tainted with blood I remember asking someone about where and how Murdangas were made but never got a satisfactory answer. I always thought one fine day I will get into the details. Surely enough I now know our performance of sand curtain all over the world is tainted with the blood of slaughter. Digesting the fact Navadwap to Mupur via boat crossing Ganga is a beautiful short trip. My recent shift to serve at Dam was filled with these beautiful scenes until I came across something ghastly. Beautiful cows and bulls were transferred in the same boat in one such trip I took in broad daylight. A bit amazed, I asked the neighbor sitting next to me as to where the cows were being taken. The neighbor replied naively, for slaughter. I asked where. He replied, near Yogapitha. By now, my mouth was wide open and heart beating strongly. I exclaimed, oh Krishna, how can this be allowed in dam? The neighbor replied, huh, how do you think your murdanga is made? Next, my inquiry with the Murdanga manufacturers got it confirmed. It is a huge export business. There is a huge demand for Murdangas all over the world, be it due to Iskan or others. The cows are slaughtered mercilessly so that we get Murdangas to play. All this in the dam. And now, it is happening right in Vrindavan too for the same reason. These Murdanga makers are doing a booming business throughout the year and there is a huge, huge supply demand gap. Sin in the name of religion Srila Prabhupada. If one is sinful, how can he say he is religious? Do you think a sinful man can be truly religious? Yet this is going on. In the name of religion, people are committing sins. I mean to say, this sinful killing of animals, especially cows, is the main cause of humanity's current degradation. Veda Nasidya Karya Kare Veda Mukya Main. As Lord Kaitanya said, people are acting against every religious principle, but advertising themselves as religious. 
D.R. Hauser, Do You Use Leather? By Bharat Chandra Dasa, Hyderabad, India Srila Prabhupada. Generally we avoid it, since at the present time people are obtaining it by sending the animals to the slaughterhouse. D.R. Hauser, So you don't allow it. Srila Prabhupada, We don't use it. For instance, none of our shoes are made of leather. Today there are so many substitutes, various plastics and other things, and every one of them is nice. But leather, in itself, it is not prohibited, because you can get it after the animal has died a natural death. Yes. In India, those who are flesh eaters wait until after a cow has died, and then they come and clear away the carcass. Then they eat the flesh and save the bones and horns and hooves and take off the skin to make shoes, and so forth. Since they get all their supplies for nothing, they can easily make their living. The main idea is, sooner or later the animal will die. So let us wait for that time. Why should we kill a living animal? Dr. Hauser, do you use leather in your drums? Srila Prabhupada, yes, after the cow has died a natural death, that leather can be used. Dr. Hauser, so you have leather drums? Srila Prabhupada, yes, that has been the way of making drums for thousands of years. But that leather is collected only after the animal has died a natural death, not by killing. So our principle is mercy. Mercy. We never needlessly kill or torment any living being. The Lord is the All-Merciful, and now, in this human form, we can revive our relationship with Him. After traveling through untold millions of lower forms, now we can revive our old relationship with the All-Merciful. Yes. But only if we become merciful. Dr. Hauser. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada, Hare Krishna, Room Conversation, Stockholm, Sept 1973. The above is an excerpt from a longer article. Readers may read the full article here. HTTP www. Dandavits Com P 9582. A related article may be found here. HTTP Care for Cos, or download newsletter CFC News Sept 2010 PDF. Laxmapati Das and Suyal Das have begun to produce Ahimsa Murdangas. Address your inquiries to Ahimsa Murdangas Hotmail, com. If leather Ahimsa Murdangas are not available, inquire here for synthetic Murdangas. Isanajuno, com Facebook com Balaram, Murdanga. New recuperating shed so far our stay at Kiki Nagla has been very comfortable and rewarding. Kasina Sudana and Braja Mohan designed and built a recuperating shed with four units to attend to the handicapped cows or those with injuries. The shed was built with the kind donation from Giridhar Panwani, Braja Mohan's father who lives in Mumbai. Mahesh Dasa from Guru Gan assisted with the construction and so far it is serving its purpose well. Soon we shed at Kiki Nagla will add some beams so we can install our hoist to attend to ambulatory patients. Many square meters of the compound have also been improved by laying a floor of brick and sand which will keep the area dry during the upcoming monsoon. May has been hot and we have suffered from four violent wind storms which destroyed the roofs of one residential room and storage area. The most popular snack for the cows this summer has been watermelon which is cut up by our staff and fed to all the residents here including the calves. Watermelon is very cooling and the cows eat the rind and seeds without complaint. The construction on the foundation of the new Kaust has begun and should be completed by the end of July. Then our facility will be in full operation and we should be able to again attend to emergency cases. Cows News in the May 12, 2011, London, England, UK, Daily Mail, Farmers Across America Ditch Tractors for Oxen in Bid to Beat Rising Fuel Prices. Wisconsin-based traditional farming school teaches 20 farmers every weekend from all over country. When farmers Danielle and Matt Borson realized they could no longer afford to run their tractors, they took the bull by the horns and ditched them for oxen. Soaring petrol prices had become so high that the couple, who run an 80-acre farm near Madison, Wisconsin, were forced to get rid of their two tractors, hay baler, plow and rotavator. So they took a course at the Agricultural Institute in Traditional Farming Techniques. It gave me the confidence that, yes, I could do this, Danielle told the Times. It just required a lot of concentration and a firm voice. Their instructor was former Peace Corps volunteer Dick Rusenberg, 64, who learned the trade while working for the UN in West Africa. He took the skills he had honed back to Michigan and set up Tillers International. At first the company was aimed at helping third world farmers harvest in the cheapest way possible. On the side, he also helped historically themed villages. But his specialist knowledge is now enjoying a new wave of interest with farmers from Wisconsin to Alaska now joining his courses. 
He is already teaching up to 20 farmers every weekend. People want to get away from petroleum fuels where they can, because it's getting more expensive, he said. A pair of plow-ready oxen cost 3,000, 1,800, roughly the same as a second-hand tractor. But younger cattle are a snip at 150 each. They only eat grass and can work for up to 14 years. The only downside is that they are slow and are not viable on a large farm. They are however perfect for small farms with high-value garden crops, said Mr. Rusenberg. Todd Yuzviak, 42, bought two oxen after learning how to command them with Mr. Rusenberg. He told the Times, we are definitely saving on fuel, though it's not necessarily easier. Tractors don't often jump over fences. Cheap. A pair of plow-ready oxen cost 3,000, 1,800, roughly the same as a second-hand tractor best machine. Oxen only eat grass and can work for up to 14 years. They are also a handy source of fertilizer old times. Two teams of oxen dig ground for the foundation of a school in Whitley, Kentucky. In the early 1900s rescue in Raymond Puri the phone rang at 11.30 p.m. Balaram Das's voice was full of alarm informing me of a cow laying in a puddle unable to get up surrounded by hungry dogs. I wish we had a staff on call 24-7 but we don't. I wish we had a full-time vet but we don't. I wish we had an ambulance but we don't. I wish I could conquer sleep but I haven't yet. They warded off the dogs and stood guard until we arrived the next morning. Turns out the patient is a one-year-old bull, dehydrated and so weak he can't hold his head up. He's in the recovery ward being administered a drip. Maybe he will make it, maybe he won't. I wish I had four hands, but I don't. Two new calves Lila Vati was rescued from the streets about 20 months ago. CCFC News November 2009, she suffered a fractured pelvis but is able to walk by herself. She managed to get pregnant and has given birth to a healthy bull calf. There were some complications during delivery so she is weak but seems to be recuperating well. The bull is healthy and happy. Hansini joined us as a calf in 2007 and has always been a delight to serve. She is healthy and has a warm personality. Since she has been well fed all her life we suspect she will be a good milker. This is her first calf, a female who is healthy and bright. Abhram Adasa Aditi Sathi Amit Goswami Anonymous Ariel Telford Artem Polygolin Carl Stella Herzig Chandriska Pasupati Christian Kastner Das Azar Derek Carol Deval Adasa Devender Kumar Driyavara Samapriya Dina Sarana Adasa Dmitri Abarish of Doyal Govinda Dasa Elena Emilenko Elena Nikafrav Emily Jaimini and Inverajanovic Gorongapriya Dasi Giridar Kaivalya Sundari Giridar Panwani Hulya Erdemir and Alukyanenko J. Ganath Rao Jason Hopkins Joaquin Jorge Castillo Palacios Georgian Jensen Kamala Melzik Cantilil Shivlil Karina Vorog Jovakitri Waterman Lucy Vieira Da Costa Madhava Priyadasi Madhavi Gunchu Pali Mandira Mani Shri Govinda Maria Larina Mark Lee Mary Louise Valerio Mupur Champaka Padma Nayan Ruparelli Olga Pulchov Pankaj Garg Pander Selvam Kanagaratnam Padal New Irina R. Meagher Rachel Borsh Make House Stay in Front of Me Make House Stay Behind Me Make House Stay On Both Sides of Me May I always reside in the midst of cows. Hari Bhakti Vila 16.25 to the cows send their heartfelt thanks to those who assisted during May 2011. Thank you from the cows Radhapati Daso Radhakaran Daso Rahul Sharma Rajiv Baral Ram Esta Daso Rasa Mandala Dasi Ravi Gopal Rohina Suda Daso Rose Boko Sasamata Dasi Sanjeev Keswani Smruta Sword Kar Shraddha Rakamar Shravan Ananda Dasa Srinivas Bat Srinivas Anganasan Svetlana Sanatina Tracy Malina Venkata Venkateswaran Vijj Sharma Vijj Sharma Vikas Shah Vivek Baluja William Yunyanavilkya Dasa